Hey everyone, welcome back to Automate with Amit. And in this video, we are going to see how we can resolve session not created exception. So generally in Selenium, we get session not created exception when we uh, try to, you know, um, invoke Chrome browser or any particular browser, then uh, that browser does not invokes up and eventually we get session not created exception in the console. So in here, we are going to see how we can resolve that. So let's go ahead in the screen. Okay, so if you come here in the in this solution, in this uh, particular project over here, then you will see that this is my BDD Cucumber uh, framework. And in here, if I have run this, okay, and uh, if I run this and you will see over here in console, you see for first instance, this Chrome browser has started for second, uh, first test case also passed for second one. It failed because this session not created exception. Okay. So session not created exception could not start a new session response code 500, something like this. If you are getting this, then what will happen? What uh, you need to do? Let's run this again and let's try uh, if this is happening again. Just a quick run. So sometimes it happens and sometimes it not. So uh, for that purpose, if you just run again, test ng test and let it start. So okay, so run has started there are two tests so first one is getting started so chrome browser instance has started for the first time and for the second time let's see okay so it failed and basically and we are getting the same exception session not created exception okay so now let's see how we can resolve this so if we go in here and try to see there are uh, you know uh, multiple ways to resolve this one way is this if you put in chrome options if you put this uh, hyphen hyphen remote allow origin equals star so over here we are not going to put this local host or something just we need to put uh, some asterisk over here so if i just show you here in options manager so this is the options manager class and this is my browser manager class so in browser manager, uh, here I am initiating my Chrome browser. Okay. So in, uh, while initiating this Chrome driver, I am passing this get Chrome options. So what is this? I'll just go back in the, in here. And if you see this in options manager class, this is just a simple Chrome options method, which is returning this Chrome options object. So if I just, you know, put this code, so hyphen hyphen remote allow origins equals star hyphen hyphen disable notification. So even though you can, even you can, uh, you know, uh, comment it desired capabilities CP equals new desired capabilities and just you have to Chrome options capabilities. You have to merge these two uh, capabilities together and just you need to pass this in browser manager so as soon as you pass this your issue will get resolved okay so but there is a catch also so make sure you watch this video till the end because uh, if you are going to take half knowledge then it will again uh, you will again get into the trouble so just I'm running this okay and uh, this has started execution so this time you should not face this issue so my chrome browser has started so first execution finished and second one is still we are getting this okay so just here if i enable this also so disable notification and all those things and now try to run this Okay, so right click and run as test ng test. And again, it is started. So now you should not face this issue. Okay. And uh, 
my Chrome browser has restarted for the first time and it should start for the second time as well okay so even if we are getting now also so let's see what else we can do we can just put one more thing here so before we are setting up our chrome driver or any in that case any uh, other browser also so if you are using edge uh, then edge also for edge also you can put this so system dot set property web driver dot http dot factory http jdk http client okay so if you put this and then try to run right click run test ng test okay so it has started for the first time chrome browser has started and it should finish and setup gets is executed so second time also this browser uh, got started and my both the test passed okay so for the safer side let let me rerun this to see if uh, this has really resolved the issue or not okay so here again it is started okay so chrome browser again is started for the first time and let's see if it is working fine for the second time as well okay so this is also working fine uh, for the second time okay so here uh, there are two things okay so sometimes what happens in this options manager if you just put these lines then also it works but there is a security threat because you are allowing all the remote origins to access this uh, this particular uh, you know uh, dev tools of the browser so for that purpose it is always um, you know you need to make sure that you are allowing only those ports exposed or this may cause some issues okay so for that purpose you can what you can do this is not the very safer option i'll show you here also in here if you see some of the okay so this is add an option to remove remote allow origins from so this is uh, basically this is port this is a block from selenium itself okay so allowing any origin star might sound risky but an attacker would need to know the port uh, used to start dev tools to establish a connection so given these sessions are relatively short lived and risk to, is reduced also this will be removed when we only suppose uh, support java 11 and above so only adding this argument in the chrome option will also work but that is a little risky so for that purpose they have mentioned that we can use um, this line so system dot set property web driver uh, http factory jdp and jdk http client okay so if you use this then it should work and it is working fine okay so here just add this line of code then also it should work system dot get a set property uh, web driver http factory this line this should work okay so that was all in this particular video if you like this video make sure to like this video and subscribe for more content like this and you can also suggest me what different topics you wanted to listen from me and in case you are facing any issue uh, for resolving this particular issue then you can comment in the comment box and make sure to hit a like. Thank you. Amit Ripati signing off.